Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Hunter Sir. Welcome back to another Fun Day Vlog. Today is Fun Day Vlog number 17. It still blows my mind how long I've been doing these Fun Day Vlogs. 17 videos of this, and we're still here. It's been a very long time since I've seen you guys. I think the last time I saw you was about, I think, the beginning of August, because my last Fun Day Vlog was on August 4th. Today is like August 25th, but during the off time, you already know I've, I went to Arizona for vacation, and uh, I just started school kind of slow on the let's play. It's been a long time So I really I really miss seeing you guys so like every fun day vlog kind of so what's going on with the channel? Well Lego the Hobbit just finished up after 18 parts. It's finally done well for now Because like I said previously in my other series Lego the Hobbit only has two uh, of the movies out right now The third movie comes out in December Which means the third part of Lego the Hobbit should be coming out maybe in March or April So the, the let's play will finish then, but right now it's completed. My Arizona vlogs are done. Pretty sure most of you saw those. I did three main vlogs, and then uh, I had two extra ones, which I did on the side. Honestly, I recorded about 50 videos up in Arizona, and I took 50 videos, smashed them up into five videos. There was the three main vlogs. One was Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then we left on Sunday. But the two extra ones were like bonus footage or behind the scenes. Like that wasn't part of the vlog. So I kind of just uploaded those separately. I'm not sure if you guys saw this, but I have a video called Are You an Inside Gaming Fan? Over summer break, I've been doing a lot of planning. I'll put a link if you want to see this video right now. I've been watching Inside Gaming for almost two years now. I met most of the Inside Gaming crew. I wanted to do something nice with the community and decided to do uh, community events, which we basically play Gary's Mod, Worms, whatever we can think of with the Inside Gaming community. I'm not sure if you guys watch Inside Gaming, but I am a huge Inside Gaming fan. I've been taking a lot of classes at the YouTube space uh, over the summer. I just want to make a quick update. On Saturday, I recorded an entire hour Let's Play with a few of my friends. It would be Nate, Hamsters, and my friend Greg. The recording program I use is called PlayCall 5. And what it basically did was I selected my default devices, which is my mic and the game audio. But the problem was there's an option on there. It's called Push to Capture. It's basically like Push to Talk. So in order... For play call to record the game audio, I had to push a certain button. I think it was I or T, something like that. It's just a random letter. If the button wasn't pushed during the whole video, no game audio was recorded. So literally, it was just me talking over the video and no game audio. So Nate and all my other friends were in team speak, and their uh, mics get picked up through game chat. There was no game chat uh, in the audio file, so it fucked me over. So I basically had an hour of footage of me talking, and that was it. So I had to scrap that. I was really bummed out. Found out today because last night I went to a party and came home. I was gonna edit the videos, but then I found out the footage is no good, so now I have to reshoot it. I feel really bad because I should know better to double check my work, and I've been doing YouTube for two years now. I should have double checked, and I do apologize, and I feel really bad because we did a very, very good job, and I like freaked out because that was an hour worth of footage that was really good, and I was so happy to show everyone on the internet, which would be YouTube. It feels like I failed everybody, so I was really bummed out, and now I have to reschedule. It's gonna be really hard to get everyone's time schedule back on track. I'm not sure if the people I played with can re reschedule. I know Greg said he could. I'm not sure about Hamsters or Nate. You may not know them, but they're the people I recorded with. It's not a bad thing. It's just the series is gonna take longer to come out than what I expected. I seriously thought I would have videos pre-uploaded for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at, at the minimum. So without these videos, my channel is gonna be really slow this week. I have like nothing. That was the only thing I had planned for this week. A couple hours ago, I had recently played Pinball FX2. Zen Studio sent me their Walking Dead table, so I recorded that. You might have saw that already because it's already uploaded before this came out. The Inside Gaming community events are still in action. They're just been postponed because it's my fault but there's nothing i can do you can't change the past so let's have to wait another week for it to come out i i do apologize that again moving on i do have some extra crew videos when the crew beta came out a couple weeks ago i could edit those and upload them so i have something to show you guys for the week i still have to record my far cry 3 let's play probably next week and then i'm gonna do things to do in farming simulator uh, next week as well i'm gonna build up some hype for farming simulator 2015 because it comes out in october so this week's gonna be really slow i'm just besides my pinball fx2 video and my fun day vlog and maybe some crew videos, that's about it. There's not too much going on the channel right now, and I do apologize. This shouldn't have happened, but I made a stupid mistake. With all that channel shit out of the way, let's move on. So China, so what's been going on with your life? Well, I've been back in school now. It feels really different to me because last semester, I was seriously on the game. Like I was going to school, not missing a day, doing all my work, turning everything in. I basically finished two of my classes within two months. I had reading and I had math. Now this semester I have life skills and I have spoken English class. 
Now, funny story, they registered me for a parent ed class. I was like, what the hell? I'm not gonna be a parent at this young age. So I'm, I just transferred over to the life skills. And life skills is like economics. It basically teach you how to survive on your own when you move out of your parents' house, which is what I'm doing next year. And they teach you about finances. They teach you how to pay your bills, how to get jobs, like all that good shit. So that's good that I'm learning that right now because I desperately need that. I should be done with these classes by early October or uh, late November. Hopefully I'll be done with them for winter break. Then I'll take my GED, be done with high school, well, adult school. And then next year I can start community college. I'm not sure if I mentioned this on the channel already, but I figured out what I want to do when I go to college next year. Since I've been doing YouTube for so long, I always wanted to get on the business side of YouTube. I'm gonna take three courses at college. I'm gonna do film production, video editing, and I'm gonna do journalism. Now, I know a lot of the MCM, multi-channel networks uh, that work for YouTube, look for that kind of stuff when they hire people. And I'm okay with ed basic editing and shit, but I need a better background. I need more education for video production, so it'll, it'll look better on my image. So hopefully next year I can find a job in Machinima or, or just somewhere, like Polaris, Nerdist, any, any like MCN out in LA, which is where I'm going to move to pretty soon. So hopefully I'll, I'll have a better year in 2015. 2014 has been kind of slow, actually. Not, not too much going on. So trying to start besides school, what else is going on? Well, I haven't had any luck getting a job at GameStop. Uh, they've been having interviews, but they haven't called me yet. I don't know why. It's like every time I try to submit an application, I never hear from them. So I don't know when I'm ever going to get hired. I still don't have a real job yet. I still do a lot of under the table work, which is basically me working with my grandma and grandpa um, during the weekdays after school. So I'm not making too much money, but I guess 20 bucks a week is good enough for now. I wouldn't consider me working at my grandma's house a real job because it's like under the table work. I just don't get paid a lot. Um, so hopefully I'll find a Job eventually okay so moving on to q a now no one left me any um questions on my last one day vlog uh number 16 if you guys wish to leave me questions write them down in the comments below i always love reading your questions and answering them on camera so that's it for today's fun day vlog sorry it's a little bit short not too much to talk about i'll see you guys next week please subscribe and join the pony number today and i'll see you guys later bye also i forgot to mention september 9th and september 10th i will be attending the gamestop expo maybe almost three weeks from now i have one quick question to ask you guys i already bought my vip tickets i want to ask you guys a quick question Okay, so they're having tournaments on September 9th. I was trying to determine what the tournament I should join. The two that interest me the most is uh, in the adult category. Um, they have a Halo 2 Anniversary Edition. It's on the Xbox One. There's 64 people, and it costs $0 to join because I've already bought my VIP tickets. If I wasn't a VIP, it would cost me $20. And the second tournament I'm thinking about joining is the Titanfall Tournament. It's in the adult premium category. Uh, they have 16 teams of, of 6 people. It's on the Xbox One. But there's 96 people, so there's way more in here. VIP ticket holders, they sold to spend 40 bucks. Look at the difference. If you bought general mission tickets, it'll cost you 40. If you have VIP tickets, it'll cost you 20. I'm trying to debate if I should join the Halo 2 Anniversary um, Tournament or the Titanfall Tournament. Now, keep in mind, because I am a VIP holder, I can get the Halo 2 uh, Tournament for free. But if I want Titanfall, it costs me 20 bucks on top of what I already paid. The VIP tickets were 110 bucks. The grand prize is a hundred dollar gift card, and you get like some headsets and some other like cool uh, swag and all that good stuff. Also, in the comments below, next year question, make sure to write what tournament I should join because this is gonna be live stream on Twitch. Just wanted to let you guys know, so you, you will be able to see me on the internet. Like, I'll be I don't know if I'll get popular off this. I doubt I will, but you get hey, you get to see me on Twitch. That's pretty damn cool. Let me know what you guys want, okay? Like all the timing and stuff for the tournaments are down below. I'll put a link in the description if you want to look at this yourself. Let me know what tournament I should join. Should I join the Halo 2 Anniversary Edition or should I join Titanfall? Um, with all that said, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this um, little short bit. I had to tag along to the main vlog because I forgot to record this. See you guys later. Bye.